right, Shroud of the Avatar, general gameplay, I believe this is 10. Um, we're still in Ardorus. Um, the sun's coming out. Um, let me see the bird shadows as they fly around. Oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, the sun's coming out, nighttime, we just got done looking at this house, so we're going to continue our exploration of the city. Now, I technically, I have a quest in here. If I go to journal and I current tasks, I need to find uh, Guard Captain Kugel. Um, and then tell him I have a report from uh, Resolute City. So, we don't know where he's at in here, and there's no map to tell me exactly where he's at, since this is an old school style game where you have to actually play the game and think, um, which is cool. I actually prefer that. Um, of course, there are times I will use guides, because there are times when you don't want to waste an hour exploring a city to find one person. <laughs> um, Let's click on this guy. Oh, there's a player. Oh, let's get a name on this guy. So he's Robert Bennett the Guard. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, what, he actually had something else to say, too. Um, greetings to you, Fair Outlander, visitors, the Isle of Eternal Dawn. The Island of Eternal mm. Dawn. Um, the Palace of Winds, the Palace of Mountain are long standing institutions the Shogunate. Uh, interesting. So yeah, this is definitely Asian-esque zone. Kinda, um, kind of uh, Shogun looking armor here. Alright, so we could, you know, go exploring everything. I mean, there's all these guards and stuff. Um, name, George Ballard the guard. <laughs> Alright, so I literally could talk to everyone if, if I wanted to be a completionist, which I do. Oh, what is that? Is that a player or just someone running around tending burn? Or is it a kid? I think it's a kid. Let's click. She's obviously scared. The bad men will never catch me. So this is a quest, probably. Um, I'm Jen, I'm not afraid of you. That's great. So we'll take bad men. There are bad men killing kids, but I'm not a kid. I'm all grown up. Cool. Um, sometimes you can type stuff. Um, I don't need any help. Do you need help? I don't need any help. That's interesting that she was able to respond to that. Okay. See, she says, what are you, dumb? <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't understand okay. But that's interesting. So now we have Jen, who probably has a quest, or at least there's a quest related to the bad men. So at night or something, someone's probably trying to kill kids. Take kids. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's those two women. We've already talked to them, though. And, uh, the two female lovers. I won't go into that. Alright. Yeah. She's okay. She's just scared of everything. So we're getting a little bit of like visual lag here now. That could be from me uploading as usual. Um, well, I definitely know my graphics card can handle this. So, who is this guy? Oh, damn cat slowing me down. Click on him. There we go. Let's go name, old traveler. He's no longer now, now he's a Sarcio. So when you talk to people, um, hmm. You know, you know, you learn their name, and they actually give you more options, uh, more um, options. Boca, I'm guessing this guy's a. I'll take you wherever you want to go. Uh, yep, let's get a name on him though, so that we can see it above his head. Uh, Ronin. So now we can go Ronin, and we know he's a boatman, which we knew. But Ooh, what's this? Armor and stuff. I can sell some of this stuff on me. Yeah, it's a, there's a smithing table. Stuff for sale, I'm gonna steal that. So I could take, oh, that play chest armor. Of course, that would be bad, so we don't want to steal anything. I could take a triangle shield, but we don't steal things. So, let's talk to the guy. Now that we've talked to him, we know he's Zangoff. If we close it, we can see he's a blacksmith. Gonna sell stuff, you know that. Uh, we're gonna sell all this stuff that I looted just to free up some inventory weight so I can move faster. Um, 
to sell my mug of ale. It's funny, you equip it like a sword and you carry it in your hands. So basically, you can sit in the tavern and, and carry your mug of ale, and it looks like you're, you know, role playing. It's pretty funny. Interesting way to go about it. Equipping, I, equipping random things like that to, to look a certain way. But it's actually cool, too. Like, that's detail. Alright, uh, let's see if he has anything. I don't know if one of those. Oh, this guy has quite a bit more. than the basic cell in the other place. I, mean, I already, I don't think I need anything. I already have plate, plate equipment. Um, so I don't really need anything here. Short sword. Uh, more difference between the short sword and my long sword is as far as uh, actual stuff. I have to compare size size. It's not showing me the difference directly, but a little long sword, 5 to 16, 13% crit. Um, short sword, 4 to 13, 11% crit. So it has more crit, but has 6 to 20 parry reduction, 5 to 16 parry reduction. So the short sword actually is probably easier to use. Uh, so this isn't just like a rusty sword or copper sword, iron sword, it's a long sword, so I don't know what exactly it's made of, but I can actually make an iron long sword, or copper long sword that might be better than this, I don't know. Um, there's a mace, so I want a blunt weapons. Heavy war hammer, which is a two-handed hammer. I mean, that's basically you can do so much. Hand axe, just a single hand axe. Halberd, a great axe. Yeah, that's cool, two-handed axe. Um, that's cool that this guy sells all this stuff buckler, bundle of arrows. And this is how many he has to sell. So he actually has like, what, 16 buckler shields? Why it's broken up, I don't know. But he has like 16 shields, so he can sell you for 90 each. That's pretty cheap. Um, it's funny, you can buy 24 arrows and a thousand of 24. <laughs> so you can get 24,000 arrows for, I don't know, two times a thousand for 2,000. That's a lot of arrows. Of course, that's a lot of, a lot of weight, too. 1,200. whole stack would be 1,200. Way more than you can carry. So, I wonder if you can get magic arrows. Anyway, yeah, this guy just, sends, just sells standard, basic, you know, basic, no-named items. Um, right now, I think I'm using a copper longsword, too. I'm not sure. Does it show my comparison? Put my character screwed up. So I've got the copper long sword. I actually bought this from a player for a few thousand, a thousand or something like that. So five to sixteen, thirteen percent crit. Five to sixteen, thirteen percent crit. Average five to sixteen. Average five to sixteen, and then plus six percent weapon crit chance. I'm not sure if that's. I think that's from the copper part. So basically the same sword except the copper one's giving me that six percent weapon crit chance. Very interesting. sell just yet. I was going to, but I'm not going to. That's going to make that. I'm going to make a, a video in a minute. So, again, we're looking for the captain of the guard. Oh, there's a some sort of crafting trainer in here. So we click on him. And he is, I'm not sure what he sells, but he sells carpentry and a bunch of recipes. Again, I can't make anything because I don't have any proficiency in carpentry. But I could buy like a basic one and make arrows. See, yeah, that's cool. So I'm actually, do I have arrows? I don't think I have arrows. I should check first before I, I buy any recipes. If I wanted to make a bed or a bench, I could do that without any any, um, any skills. So yeah, that's how you actually create stuff. That's cool. What that guy's name is? That's the title. All right. And then we got probably a furniture salesman. Very interesting in this town. Lots of people. I and mean, this is a major town. Major graphics. I've seen that before. Occultus. I'm going to have to go in there and check shit out. But, uh, yeah. It's very interesting. <laughs> and this is, again, this is nice. Pretty good graphics. I mean, you do have some weird little textures here, but other than that, like, this is, this is decent quality. It's worth playing. 